and uh, BBC One have just joined us. I'd like to welcome their, their viewers. And as you heard, <clears throat> they're signing off in order to get on with preparations for the second burn on the other side of the moon again to bring them into circular orbit and much closer to the moon. Well, Patrick Moore, what did you think of that? Quite incredible. Uh, one thing we've got to bear in mind, I think, they were magnificent pictures. I'm not going to say they show us more detail than we've got from the orbiters, but they probably don't. But don't forget that people were actually seeing them direct for the first time, and this is bound to add to our knowledge. Sir Bernard, a comment from you? Well, I thought it was absolutely marvellous. I did hear that uh, description, and I must confess, I thought it was really quite extraordinary. Sure, yes. One of the most remarkable few minutes that I've ever lived through. The realisation that there was a human being there only 60 or 70 miles above the lunar surface, giving that really quite wonderful description of what yes, he was indeed. seeing. Yes. yes, I'd like to ask both of you if you expect anything at all to come out of this flight that we, that we couldn't have got from sending up an unmanned probe. But Patrick Moore. I don't think the actual knowledge we're going to get is going to be of fundamental importance, because I'm quite sure it's going to back up what we already know. But if we're going to get men to the moon at all, if we're really going to explore space, then this kind of operation has got to be carried out. And that, I think, is the fundamental point of all this. And it is, I suppose, probably the greatest technological triumph ever made by man. And nobody would deny, presumably, that uh, we will eventually leave the Earth and venture out into the universe. Therefore, this step is absolutely necessary. And one thing I would like to make here, if I may, there has been suggestions, I know, that this is a mere publicity stunt. This is part of scientific history, James. This is a part of our heritage. Yes. And yes. it would be criminal not to broadcast it uh -huh. as fully as, as we can. Yes, I see.